Retro. All right, guys, we're back trying to get the retro game slash toy room all put together. Today is all about getting these cabinets and these shelves organized and cleaned up so I can start making videos again. Stick around. What is up internet, Retro here, and welcome back to our third episode of building a retro video game slash toy room. You know, I never envisioned this being a complete series, but here we are uh, into our third episode, and there's still more to do. You know, I can't imagine this going much more than, you know, this episode, maybe one more, but you know, I still don't feel good. I still don't feel good about making videos in here, making this my backdrop until I get this a little more organized, so I appreciate you guys coming along on the journey. Um, if you are new to the channel and you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, consider subscribing. I come out with new videos every single week, and if you are into those types of things, I think you'd enjoy it. So let's uh, get into a little bit of a recap. We got this cabinet up and that cabinet, and then the last video we put up these three just real simple black shelves but it's exactly what I needed. I want I wanted these to put, you know, not just games, but toys, some of my VHS, just collectibles, and I think it's looking good. I don't know exactly what it looked like last time you guys saw it. I've added a couple things, but in general, it should be it should be pretty similar to what it was last week. I did not know where I wanted that PlayStation 2 sign. Um, I ended up putting it there. I think it looks good. I'm gonna have to put smaller boxes and figures up there. I had larger boxes, but I just think that this looks good. It's almost another angle for me to shoot. That could be my backdrop. And I just think it looks, I think it looks really, really sweet. So that's what we did last week. About to get into um, getting all these completely filled up, getting this stuff organized. Guys, I, I have to have it organized in here. And another thing, I do not want it to feel cluttered. I showed this, uh, I showed some pictures to a buddy of mine that has a really sweet game room and he was like man you can always tell when someone moves into a new game room it's just crispy it's clean and i'm like man i gotta keep it like that so i'm gonna do my best to uh to keep it organized so let's get into a time lapse of getting this all set up I give you guys what I'm calling the wall of nostalgia. I mean, I'm freaking obsessed with this. I think it looks so good. It It is like organized chaos. In my mind, it works. It might not for other people, but I, I love it. Um, I had a friend over here just a bit ago, and he was like, man, it looks like a flea market. It almost looks like a, like a flea market. And that was like the best compliment somebody could have gave me. So um, I ended up, again, putting that PS2 sign there and it just pops off of those, those black shelves. Um, I ended up lowering you know, some of those boxes to be smaller boxes so I could put up um, toys and things. So I really, I really want to display a lot of these toys and I'm finding the best way to do that is to kind of get rid of some of the games I don't really care about right now. So I have a bunch of stuff packed up, um, but let's walk through a little bit of this. Again, organized chaos. Most of this is gonna be all Nintendo. So I, I changed those N64s from being over there to over here and stacked them. Again, guys, this is not, you know, ever going to be, you know, end all be all for this stuff. But in general, I think this is this is where I'm landing right now. Um, and I like that. I like to kind of fill up the shelves as, as high as I can in the back and then just start kind of plugging in some of these um, some of these figures. So I got I got almost all of these at you know, thrift stores, garage sales, things like that. My Diddy Kong racing stickers, got those for 75 cents at one point. So I, again, I don't want to go through it like really deep because I'm going to do a game room tour, but you see some of my favorite stuff in here, Earthbound Strategy Guide, some boxed, um, boxed games, and then GameCube stuff here, and then more N64 stuff in here, some newer stuff. 
again, I'm just kind of placing things where I think they kind of fill in the best gaps. Got Mega Man. I think he actually makes... Come on. Mega Man 2? I don't know exactly what which Mega Man that is, but... Okay, and then this is all like Nintendo stuff down here. So not all my Nintendo stuff, but quite a bit of it. Then move over a bunch of Turtle stuff. This is probably my favorite... Um, my favorite shelf is my Talk Boy collection. My Little Nero's Pizza Box. It's pretty cool. And then moving up to Sega stuff, you guys saw both of those. And then more stuff up there. So these are all my McChangeables, the things from McDonald's that they basically were just ripping off Transformers back in the day. Got some Sega stuff up there. Moving over. Again, I love that PS2 sign, how it looks. Turbo Man up there, some other things, and just more, again, nostalgia, man. Just kind of toys all mixed in with all this PlayStation stuff moving down, and then this is kind of like toys and movies and all my like Goosebumps books, and then more, more movies. I have all these toys that I'm still not sure what to do with, um, but I am going to put those shelves up, those clear plastic shelves, those came in. But for now, um, this is this is the plan for today. So I want to work on this shelf again since I took off those N64s. Um, I need to clean this up. Um, that's the first thing I want to do. And then over here, I got to do the same thing. I'm going to need to put up those these shelves. They just came in. They're right there. I'll get into that um, a little bit later. And then I still need to hook up all my consoles in in this. So that's like the three things, or I guess four things I want to do. Clean that up, do that, do that, and then get those shelves up. So let's get after this one first. Okay, guys, one more thing before we get to that case. I want to get your thoughts on something. So I'm probably going to get a couple people mad at me on this one, but um, I have a question for you guys. So do you guys always keep things, if you get it new, do you keep it brand new in the box? or in the package, or do you like to actually display things, you know, on on your shelves? So I'm gonna tell you what I what I like to do. So like for instance, this Mega Man was $39, but I got it on clearance for $10 at, at GameStop. So all this stuff is like Target and GameStop stuff. It's not like limited edition or anything like that. So for me, I, I like things displayed. I know a lot of people actually will buy two of an item so they'll display one and then they'll keep one sealed. Um, I like to I like things to be actually displayed like this, so you can see it, you can pull it out. I can take a picture of of this Mega Man with a Mega Man game, things like that. Um, and you know, if you know, say 20 years from now, that Mega Man is worth 50 bucks, but in the box it's worth 100. I, I'm not sweating that. Like I I would rather long term have this out and displayed how how I want in the game room, but. If I found a Turbo Man, you know, at a thrift store and it was brand new, or I found a different figure like, you know, like this Ernest doll, I'm probably not gonna open that up. I wanna keep it, I wanna keep it sealed. That's like a vintage retro piece that I don't see often. It's not like mass produced, but again, these um, I don't care about and I would rather have them displayed. You know, I have some more over here that I'm still trying to figure out what to do with. You know, DuckTales figures, these aren't old. Again, these are like, these are from a couple years ago and I paid a couple bucks for those. But I wanted to know what you guys do. Do you guys open it up or do you guys keep it sealed to display? Let me know down in the comments. Let's get after the shelf. Okay, I'm definitely feeling better about this about this cabinet now. I don't feel like amazing about it. There's something there's something a little off about it. I can't I can't pinpoint it. I know like at the bottom at the bottom moving up feels feels pretty good. Um, I had well, you know before I had these like double stacked, and again I talked about that before. I don't really care I don't really care to do that. But when you double stack, um, you can't put anything out in front. So. Um, I just made one layer in the back and then started kind of putting some of my more favorite box games like I typically do up in the front. I think one thing is I had all of this stuff 
in these cabinets before. You know, I didn't I didn't have these three shelves at the other game room, so that helped me like stagger and place things to kind of fill to fill up space. That might be part of it. I I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to look back at the pictures from the old game room and try to see what was what was different. I just really can't stand this top shelf. I don't think it looks good at all. Um, you know, again, I'm trying to do the whole. There's stuff in the back, so you can see that from from back here. But I don't know. I don't really care. I don't really care for the whole double stack thing. And I have, I still have all of these games down here. I'm trying to figure out what to do with. I know that I did have these hooks. I still have these hooks. And I put these in the in the old in the old game room. I had these like in the back. And then I had N64 controllers, all the different colored ones, like stacked in the back. That could have been something. I know, or I've thought about like putting these all, like somehow putting these all like right here, all down, all down either that side or that side, but I'll do that at some point. But it, I mean, it feels good. I'm not saying it's terrible. So it's good enough for now. Let's move over to the NES uh, cabinet now. All right, here is the NES cabinet. This one's pretty simple, guys. There's not a lot going on in here. I don't have, you know, a ton of figures and extra little knickknacks and stuff in here other than other than those. I have my two boxed NES consoles down here, the Rob the Robot, and then my action set. I didn't have anywhere else to put my, my box Atari, so it's there, but you know, it's pretty clean. Just a bunch of NES games, my box games, and then got all the Zeldas and Inbox Mario's and then these are all just accessories so it looks good very simple setup in this cabinet and I like it so it's like past midnight I'm pretty wrecked I'm tired um, I'm gonna get to setting up those clear shells right there tomorrow and then also getting um, all the games or all the game consoles set up in the cube so I can actually start playing games so I'm gonna get back after it tomorrow Okay, it's time to get all this stuff hooked up. I got all these consoles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with um, NES here, Super Nintendo, N64, then GameCube. Down here, I'm gonna have Genesis, Dreamcast, PS1, PS2. Those are the main consoles that I play. I have some other ones, but those are the ones that I um, use the most. I have all the cords here. I got some extension cords just in case I need them. This is the switcher that I use. I don't know if there's a better one, but it's the MT BIKI. I don't know. Eight port. So this is what I use. You hook up everything on the back, and then you can just switch with just one button to each console. So this is a huge lifesaver, so you don't have to mess with the cables all the time. So I'll I'll link this down in the description below. If they still sell it, I got it on Amazon and so you can pick that up if you need it what else i think that's about it i just moved the shelving unit out um, from the wall it, it just weighs so much the, these sony trinitrons if you've ever tried to move one before i i don't know that has to weigh at least 200 pounds and it's an awkward shape so it is just a freaking beast but i'm gonna try to clean up the wires as best i can i have some zip ties and I have these I'm not gonna say it's perfect it's gonna be perfect but I'll at least try to clean it up somewhat so let's get after it okay everything is set and all these consoles power up immediately which is which is great it makes it so much easier when you're wanting to play consoles you want to switch from from console to console and this is kind of how it works you guys have probably seen these before let me get off of blank check that's sonic okay so sonic is actually running through an um, rf switch because i don't have an av cable right now i need to pick up one of those but everything else kind of works like this so here's the nes Super Nintendo, switch to N64, GameCube, so you guys get the point um, on how that works. 
So again, it just makes it so much easier to play games and you don't have to like mess around with cords in the back. If you guys are interested in that, I will, again, I'm gonna link that so you guys can see it. Okay, so I told you guys I was gonna clean all this. I am not good with like cable management stuff. I mean, you can see it's like a rat nest back there. You guys, you guys help me out. You guys tell me um, what's an easy way to make things look clean. Um, if you have like a ton of cables and, and wires and stuff, or maybe there's a video that I don't know about, you can you can link it down below so I can learn about that. But here is the game room right now. It is it is nearing completion. It really is. I feel good about that. Um, all of this looks great to me. So right here, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. I'm gonna put a little computer desk right here so I can uh, stream in. And play games. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna do it on YouTube. I'm not gonna do it on, on Twitch. I'm gonna do it all on YouTube. So that's what I'm gonna do there. I actually think I may put this there. I think it's gonna fit perfect. And then um, I don't know if this is possible. Y'all tell me this too. I actually had the idea. Could I switch this door? And instead of it make instead of it opening like this way, could I make it open that way, almost where it goes outside? And then that would you I could use this whole wall. I don't know. I'm sure that's possible, but I've never done anything like that before. I'm gonna wait till um, next week to to put all that up. I don't know if that'll be like a full video or not, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it at this right now. I think I'm already probably like 15, 16 minutes. Um, another thing people have asked is about the couch. Am I attached to the couch? I actually am. The the most I game in here is when I have friends over. So I like having, you know, four people can usually fit on this couch, three comfortably, and then, you know, someone can kind of sit. So I don't I don't want to do like just a an individual game chair because I don't usually game by myself. Also on the sides, I actually need this space because when I record, I don't want to have to like move a bunch of stuff out of the way to actually get like this angle for when I for when I record. So that's why I'm trying to leave a little bit of space on the sides. So you guys tell me what you think so far. Um, I'm digging it. I'm loving it. It's feeling it's feeling really good. I'm excited to um, to make more videos and just to hang out and play games in here. It's, I mean, again, it's feeling really clean. I just hope it doesn't get real cluttered. But guys, that is it for now. Hopefully this next Monday, um, not this video, but the next video will actually be a $10 game collection video and I can get back on, on that series. I've been missing it, and I'm excited to, to jump back in. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. And until next time, peace.